Hey peeps, welcome back to Vlogmas day two and I'm glad you're here with me and today I'm just going to do a short video showing you five of my favorite ritual blades that I own. I know a lot of you have been interested in some of my magical things and this is the perfect sort of month to to talk about it. So stick around. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Hit the bell so that you get notified when I have new videos out. And, uh, you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you could. And we will get started here in a moment. So, yes, I have many ritual blades. I started collecting them many years ago from the very first one that I had, which was a simple silver carving knife from the kitchen to the elaborate blades I have today. And while some of them I no longer use in ritual or for energy work, um, they hold an honored place in my home and I display them in my ritual room. Um, and I'm getting texts, but I'm not going to answer. So the first blade I'm going to show you is for Mialiki, who is my primary goddess. She is a goddess of the hunt. She is a goddess of fairy, especially the dark fae and the forest fae. And I have been pledged in her service since 1992, which is almost, well, it's a long time. I've been in the craft 40 some years. So 1992, yeah, almost 30 years. And this is the blade I had made for her. And yes, they are all custom made. Um, You'll notice it's a dragonfly blade and you can see the wings and there are the eyes. Those are iolite and it's a wire wrapped hilt. Um, this is supposed to be like the abdomen, abdominum, ab, the abs of the dragonfly. Um, but yeah, I love this blade. I love the feel of it in my hand. I love the energy that, that infuses it and all of these blades I have consecrated um, to their respective gods and also in case anyone's interested yes I put a hex on them in case anybody ever tries to steal them not a good idea the second blade I'm going to show you is for Miliki's mate Tapio hello Bridget did you come to, to visit today well hi <laughs> and it is an oak dagger with a moonstone in the hilt, in the pommel. And it's an acorn dagger because Tapio is a god of the forest. And of course, the forest lords, oak is sacred to most of them. Um, I also find for Tapio, especially blue spruce seems to be extremely, it resonates with his energy. Uh, but the handle of this is actually bog oak. I love bog oak. It's ancient wood and it's found all throughout Europe as well as the British Isles. So this is a blade I use for tapio. Now the next three blades I just recently got. I had them made. I custom ordered them in February, I think. And because the company they have a long list, a long waiting list. Um, I just got them the other day. So it was a nice surprise during this pandemic of a year. Back when I ordered them, I wasn't really expecting the year to be like this. But this blade is a B blade. And you can see a B on the side and B on this side. And there's a garnet in it. And the hilt is actually amber. And this blade is for Rowney. She was also known as Mater Aka, um, the mother of all mothers in the Finnish pantheon. And she wanted amber and garnet. So I bought this blade for her. Uh, the next blade that I have is for the goddess Brigid, who is a Celtic goddess. And yes, we named our cat after her. She is also known by breed, by the name Bridget, by bride. Um, and I got her a Celtic dirk 
with a bronze blade. Um, it's got Celtic knotwork around the hilt and the pommel. This is bog oak and the blade is pure bronze. And I find this just an incredible piece of work. It's extremely heavy for a dagger, but it's probably because of the uh, actual bronze or because of the metal. So yeah, I, I love this. And when I pulled it out of the sheath the first time, I could hear her just go, oh, I like that. So I think she really likes this and I love it. And the workmanship is incredible. And it would help if I put it in the right way. Yes, sometimes she, you have to put a dagger in a certain way. Um, my sword is like that. It only fits in the sheath one direction. So I'm going to show you the final blade, which is not a dagger. People really want to talk to me, apparently, which is not a dagger. And I will be back with it in one second. So this is for Uko, Ronnie's mate. He is the leader of the Finnish pantheon, Uko. Sometimes in later years, late, and when Christianity began to spread, he was known as Uko Jumala. He is um, he who makes all things possible. And I got him an axe. So, yeah, it's a dragon axe with blue topaz in the eyes, lapis lazuli in the hilt or the, uh, the claw. And beautiful dragon. Look at that work. It's exquisite. And the um, hilt is ebony and it's wrapped around again, wire wrapped. So those are five of my favorite blades. I love all my blades from the smallest, which is very, very small, to the biggest, which my sword is probably the biggest, bigger than the axe. Um, and they all have a special place in my heart and they've all been consecrated and they are under great protection and they offer great protection. Let's put it this way. While I would never pull them out just randomly as a weapon, if somebody was after me, I could use one of them. So those are my five favorite blades. Do you have any collections like daggers or swords or any sort of um, ritual gear that you really love. I mean, I'm gonna be doing a video on crystals. So save your crystals for that. But do you have any ritual blades or wands that you like to use? Let me know in the comments and stick around all month for Vlogmas. And join me over on Facebook and on my blog for all my giveaways and stuff this month. Don't walk on the dagger, honey. Don't worry. They can't hurt themselves unless they actually knocked it off onto themselves. Um, as I said, they are not sharpened. They could hurt you if you hit somebody with them, but they're not going to hurt the cats to walk over them. So that's it for today. Uh, just wanted to give you a peek into my private private life a little bit and my ritual life, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my blades. Come on over to my blog, come on over to my Facebook group. We're having fun all month long, celebrating the release of Starlight Web. Um, so I will see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas vlog, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.